Hey Juan, how's it going? I wanted to record a very quick video for you about how to take the token that you're getting from member stack and then translating it into a Xano token. So this is what you're getting back from Webflow. Like you're pushing that token for the uh, code snippet I gave you. So if I run this, this is that token that you shared with me yesterday. Then you're gonna do a JWS decode and you get that by adding and you go to security and you do JWS decode, okay? So that decodes the token and you basically map the token from the input that you're getting here, right? So you would just drop down input JWT token. And then this key, what I did begin public key, I got from this article, right? And if you click on find public keys, it will have this and you copy from begin to this end piece, right? So that's what I copied here. I copied it all the way in this text and then I changed the signature to RS256. Then I click save. So now when I output it in this crypto one, I can see that I'm getting your name and your email address. And so this is your member stack ID and this is your email address. So I actually added that as a database item over here too, because then what I can do is, um, let me go back to the API, let me go back to the test. So if I run this again, um, so crypto one dot ID would return this. So what I then do is I'm going to look up the user. So get a record. I'm going to go to the user table. That's the table I just showed you. You're going to look it up by not the user ID, but the member stack ID. And the value is going to be coming from this crypto one. So crypto one dot ID. Okay. So I'm going to click save. So if I then, instead of returning crypto one, return user one, it should return the database user. Right, so let me just go ahead and do that. There you are. So this now it's returning this from the Xano database. It decodes the token and then gets the user from the database. So the final thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna go to security, create an auth token, right? So this is the table it's gonna use, the user table. The ID of this user is gonna be user1.id, um, okay, I hit save. This uh, is when the token expires, return as var one. Um, and so here, when I return variable one, I should, in theory, get a token back once I run this. And this token is the Xano token. And that's what you use to basically, like if I had like a lockdown endpoint um, here, let me just lock this down. User authentication. So now when I run this, I would paste in the auth token here and um, it, it runs the endpoint, okay? So let me disable authentication because it's actually a test one that I'm working on, but you get the picture. So what I did was I in, add the input that I'm getting from Webflow, decoded the token from member stack, got the, uh, the user and then created an auth token for them here. And then that's what I'm passing back. Hope that's helpful, thanks.